What's up guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we are back with level 5 of the LEGO Movie 2 video game! That's right, the Sorting Area Story requires us to get 16 of those Poiple, or Masterpiece Bricks, and we're gonna get those plus one extra, as well as a few trophy achievements. Now, shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game, and uh, yeah, we're making our way right along, right? Uh, I haven't looked at my save file in a minute, but I know I've got like 30% or more of the trophy achievements already, and that's pretty awesome. So picking up right where we left off it is the sorting area. That happens to be the next one in the Sistar system. So we'll go ahead and jump right in, and it actually takes us to a little bit of a cutscene, and uh, let's check it out. So, after an as good as can be expected sort of landing, we decided to look around and see if we could find any of our friends. Friends? We'll find them all. Uh, let's see, we got a couple of golden arrows pointing us to a handful of construction vehicles. We're gonna go ahead and start with the one that requires the old generator. Now, I'm not sure what happened there. I pushed the wrong button or something. Of course, user error, as I always chop it up to, but go ahead and drop a generator down and pump, 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 pump it up. That's right, we got one of three now woke. That's right, we gotta get the other two woken up and move them over to the desired area. Now this one actually requires us to use the old paint wand. So pull it out and make it shout. That's right, doesn't matter which color you got, but I guess color it up is the best way to say it. So uh-oh, cuckoo, cuckoo. We got ourselves a giant clock and it's gonna go ahead and ring that bell. Speaking of ringing that bell, make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And if you are subscribed, you might double check that that notification bell is clicked because we have been live streaming like crazy and you're not gonna wanna miss those. Plus we have all sorts of other things like game breaks and such too, so make sure you ring that bell. Next, uh, we've got all three of them woken up, so let's go ahead and drive them into the green designated area. That's right, the green area is for designated peoples like these. Uh, they, I love the Duplos, in fact, there's lots of grunts and groans instead of character chatting in, in, with these guys, but, but it's still fun. We are gonna skip over most of those, but anytime Lucy or anything, uh, anybody of importance really speaks, we're gonna go ahead and drop out and make sure that we showcase those, as this is the story, after all. All right, uh, we got them all in there. Woo to the hoo! Hop out and make your way over there and chat with old Mr. Blue. You can see we got the check mark there. And in the background, we got some stuff. Now, okay, as you guys know, Tyler P. has not been able to get ahead of us quite yet, but I think that's going to change today. Uh, so we are kind of blind going in with how many of these Masterpiece Bricks we need. And in this one, we end up with one extra. But hey, remember I was talking about cutscenes? With the path cleared, we continued on our way, little knowing the danger that lay ahead. All right, so it was technically more of a cut speech than it was a cut scene, but uh, you know what I mean. So, all right, we do trudge around a wee bit and we find a handful of chests while making our way through this area. And, and we, do, uh, we, we do have a little bit of a mistake at one point where we, uh, we plummet to our doom, but you'll have to wait and see on that. Now, speaking of waiting and seeing, how far are you guys? Drop me a comment down below. I know a lot of you guys are further than we are, and you know, that's okay. As it turns out, there's not a lot of help needed in order to get to the end of the story. And the collectibles are pretty much open in the world here, and you can target them on your map. There is gonna be a few doozies that we're gonna have to guide you through, I'm sure, and we'll get to those in our free roam videos, which may be streamed live. You guys still have not really commented a whole lot of whether you'd like to see those live or perhaps you prefer them not live and a little bit more organized. Uh, and the bonuses would be you guys could help me label the quick links. You could kind of help me if I get stuck somewhere or maybe you guys have a tip or trick to solve a certain brick that I couldn't figure out. So that's kind of the benefits of that. Now, the, the downside is, is that it is likely to be a little bit longer. There are going to be moments where I am chatting with people that might not seem like they're there, but they are, I promise, they're in the chat. But uh, it's just up to you guys. Kind of let me know because we're running out of uh, content for LEGO Dimensions. This could kind of fill the gap, so to speak, because we're going to get a couple of these videos out per day for the story. And then we're going to be ready for that free room. 
All right, next up, we've got this guy up here. He's actually, he sounds more like a baby. All these guys kind of sound like babies, if I'm being honest, because they're Duplo. And you know what? That's okay. We, we, uh, we speak baby knees, and uh, we should have no problem with that. So go ahead and smash your way with the old Rex Quando. That's right. We got our Rex Danger Fists out, and we can go ahead and smash our way through there. Now, uh... Maybe we're looking for Starla in here? We got the Rex hands out, I'm not sure. Oh, that might not be a reference you guys get. It's okay, though. There's been a lot of those lately. I've been dropping lots of pop culture references and such. And uh, some of you got them. Some of you have it. Some of you got to look them up on Google. That's okay, though, too. But, uh, ooh, look at on the far right side of this hallway. Make sure you smash open and uh, get this little cave because there's a chest inside. And we got ourselves some, was it Mega Relic Shards? I'm pretty sure that's what that said. Either way, you're going to want to get it. And uh, look at this. We butt slam our way out of here all the way to the top of the cave. And what you got? What you got? Oh, I thought that was a chest. My bad. Speaking of uh, chest, though, we I guess I guess every time we smash one of those open, we get a ton of studs, including a handful of blues and usually a purple too. So I highly recommend getting those because it's going to help you get that what is it more mil uh, more money than Bruce Wayne trophy achievement. What you can see, we haven't even really been trying, and we're almost there. Oh, guess what? We got ourselves a Lucy moment. Shh. Following some pretty sweet rescue work, we spotted Benny nearby. Maybe he'd be able to help us find a way out of there. Hey, who are you? <laughs> the intruders! Guards, get them! <laughs> Chargers, target their weak spots while avoiding their attacks. All right, so, you know, I thought those belly bouncers were going to be my nemesis in this game, but it turns out I've got more foes than anyone knows. And look at this. These guys are, they get the best of me. I, I, you know, I don't know if it was because there was two of them, and I was, like, not sure which one to attack. And every once in a while, too, like, my, my, uh, my point of attack would change. You see that I was trying to get the guy on the right, but all of a sudden it auto-attacked the guy on the left. And there it did again. Maybe that's just me not knowing how to get my cha 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 on, or maybe it's this Rex Quando with these gloves on is a little too much for those guys. I'm not sure what it is, but I eventually ground pound my way to victory. Here we go. Wait, wait. Here we go. Oh, oh. Never mind. I guess I give him the old pow pow. Oh, we got Benny. Benny, spice up, spice up. Emmett! Boy, am I glad to see you! If we could give this weird talking transporter spaceship the cake bricks it needs to take to the temple, it'll help us to get off this world and find out where Batman is! We'll need to repair the transporter before it can start moving again. My welder would make short work of things, but it's gonna need some replacement parts before I can use it. Why don't you have a look around and see if you can find me a new fuel canister and torch nozzle? Oh, snap! We gotta find these parts so we can fix that spice ship! Spice ship! This is pretty fun and easy, actually. You just gotta turn around and follow the two golden arrows yet again. First one's gonna require us to open the door, and with the help of Metal Beard's head, we should have no problem doing that. So go ahead and slap it on either the right or the left side. Really, the one we need is on the left, but both have goodies inside, so make sure you grab them all. And ooh, look on the hard left. There's one of them Poiple bricks. And you know me, as it is right in the pathway, and not knowing how many the story is going to provide for us, we're going to go ahead and grab it just to make sure. There's a couple of spots, too, that I found myself in that I'm not sure I would actually even make it back to without really having to go out of my way. So I definitely recommend grabbing the ones, uh, at least right now. <laughs> we might find out later that, you know, once Tyler P. gets ahead of us and I know how many are required and how many are part of the story, then I can actually target how many bricks. In fact, I should ask, I got a couple of you, like Jason and Todd out there, who have... Uh, Maybe uh, maybe would be willing to kind of look that up and let me know. I'll go ahead and, and don't do it without me asking because I may already have it done and I'd hate for you guys to go out of your way to help out. But I will uh, I will message you guys and see if I can figure that out because that would be super helpful moving forward. Like if I know that the story provides 10 bricks but you need 12, then I mean I know I need to grab two and then I'm not getting any extra overlap. We can get just what's required and then move on and then return to grab everything else in our free room. Speaking of free roam, let's go ahead and roam these cars or vroom vroom all the way around until we get this nice big red chest. That's right, chest, you've got red on you. Go ahead and smash it on down and inside, woo to the hoo, we got ourselves a fuel canister. So now between the two parts that we have grabbed, we got both check marks. We can head back to old Benny 
and see what he provides for us. In fact, I already know, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm sure you probably already know, because we were already around up the part. You know what it is. Here we go. Those parts you've got ought to be enough to fix my welder. Okay, hand them over, and then we can finally repair that spaceship! Danny's welder has the ability to cut through and repair certain types of objects. Super useful. So, yeah, the welder kind of happens to be the old heat ray, as we would normally call it, uh, like something like Superman or Iron Man would generally have in our traditional LEGO games. But it's pretty cool that the welding tool is available to any character we have out, which, you know what, I've kind of slacked in the department of having more than just the base characters out. We've unlocked Benny now. We've also unlocked Metal Beard. Uh, we've got a couple of them, and, and I've only used Emmett and just a blink of an eye of Lucy as well. So maybe, maybe I'll get better about switching those over in the future. Now, speaking of the future, the next 10 minutes or so of this video, there are some ins and outs where we actually have conversations with the Duplo blocks, but they are just grunts and groans. And to be honest with you, I figured we could kind of move on by just reading the text on screen and knowing that we actually have to fill up three compartments of this choo-choo Duplo train. But in order to do that, we have to complete a few puzzles. Now, Lucy's telling us right now we got a little work ahead of us and luckily for us the first door is available to go through now the next one we're actually gonna have to build a cake and in order to build a cake we have to buy it from a store but we're not there quite yet so I'm getting ahead of myself uh, let's go ahead and make it I was gonna say I knew I heard a chest I was looking all around make sure you have your sound turned up if you're not using a headset because that is kind of the key to finding a lot of these chests as I don't believe they are marked on any sort of way on the compass there but they might be I haven't really paid attention to those I, I know that the purple bricks are but I'm not sure about the chests I just know that they do respawn, so you want to make sure you grab them now because when you return, you'll get another shot at some studs as well as whatever items like relics and such that might be inside. Now, this brick was kind of hard to get to. If you have trouble jumping up on the old choo-choo there, go ahead and use a bounce pad from your object builds, and that should help you get up there. Now, I got one of these guys again. Ugh. I am not very good at these guys. I'm going to go ahead and do a build attack to kind of save some face here because I am good at the quick time events. As you can see, I don't fail once, but one of the guys dips out and avoids my attack. At least it appears that way on screen. Wow, oh, yep, he did. He avoided it. So, whoop, 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 whoop. make sure you get the studs that are left behind because they can add up quickly. And then get behind Buddy and give him the old pal right in the back of the Kissa. That's right, backside. And woo to the who, we got him. Now we can move up and pull out our welding tool, which. I think you need to talk. I noticed er, like later, you'll see that I try to uh, do a welding spot in a future little sp one of these, because we have to do three of these, and it doesn't work until I talk to the old choo-choo. So if it's not showing up, just know that you go down and talk to Buddy, and it should open it up for you. Or at least give you the access to use the tool. And look at that. Bleh, it pukes out a bunch of yellow or orangish bricks. Kind of golden, golden, bleh, I guess. But we'll go ahead and let's see here. It says these bricks look like, okay. The cake already sounds tasty. We'll go ahead and collect our brick. Thank you very much. We are almost at the halfway point. And before making our way to the gate where that next yellow arrow is, we're going to go ahead and dip to the back right corner where there is another chest with a handful of bricks, some bluesies, and a couple of, ah, ooh, what are those? Are those just item relics i think the purples are just, I, I still haven't figured it out because you know what i haven't bought any at the store i haven't cracked any open except for the original one when it was teaching us how to do it so all right we got this guy here he informs us that we will not be able to advance without pleasing the gate here and apparently the gate is actually alive and we need to feed him a cake so as i mentioned earlier in order to get that cake built we need a build instruction or a building page which can be found in a store which happens to be right around the corner so luckily for us we have ten thousand or more studs and we got quite a bit we got almost we got almost that million and it oop there's another poiple brick that one was kind of out of the uh, beat path so to speak so i opted not to grab that one so we're gonna keep on keeping on it looks like is that a grapple plug over on the left i don't think we have a tool for the grappler yet do we what's that Ooh, water pistol. Okay. So we got some uh, other items. We can also buy, looks like we got to buy at least one of the purple bricks in this area. But well, let's not worry about that. Let's grab the birthday cake because it's uh, time to celebrate and we'll build some 
some cake. That's right. That's what we're going to do. We're going to head over there and look. Ooh, there's a purple brick on the left. This one was pretty close to the pathway, so I'm going to go ahead and snag it up. That's right. Thank you very much. We'll add them to the collection. And then watch this. I get stuck here to the point where the game actually has to uh, off me. Watch this. Right? See? Right, ready? Dealt with. Oh, it should have been fail. Big old fail stamp right there. I, I didn't mean to make that happen. I was actually uh, not aware that you could get stuck like that. But apparently I got stuck and uh, it removed me. And that's good, good though, because I, I didn't want to be stuck there forever. I was kind of worried. But hey, we got to go ahead and pull up our object builds, go over to the quest objects, and then pull up that birthday cake. Now, that's assuming you have purchased it for the 10,000 studs over at the store, which we just did. And look at that. Place it in place, and nom, 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 nom. Big guy takes it down, and I do believe we get a, a, a slight pat on the back or a thank you. And he does allow us to pass on through to the other side. So we're going to do that right now. And look at that. We got ourselves another masterpiece brick. Now, I try to get Rand over, but it does not work. And it really messes with the camera. And let's see here. It says, who would have thought cakes would be such good at bribing? Well, uh, I got to be honest. You show up with some donuts or some cakes and you need something from me, I am way more likely to help out if that's the case. Or if that's the cakes. Ho, 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 ho. Sorry. Dad jokes. All right, I'm going to avoid those guys on the right because, or excuse me, on the left by going on the right. I pulled a ducky there. Uh, that That's only because I'm terrible at fighting them, and I didn't want to look like even more of a noob than I already have. So uh, step up. we got to talk to Buddy here, and before we can move on, we have to help this crane. That's right. In order to move that giant piece of, I guess it's base plate. It's like a road base plate just up to our left there. We have to open up the crane, which we got to hop all the way to the top first. So pull out one of your boingers. That's right. Go to the bouncer. Drop it in the preferred area. If you need a few bricks, you can smash that object right here. I was, uh, I had a plenty of brickage there, so I didn't need to do it. But I, you know me, got to get them all. Got to get them all. I like to make sure I have as many as possible because I don't want to ever have to like stop what I'm doing to go find some. Now, speaking of going and find some, here in a minute, I notice on the compass that, wait a minute, there is indeed a brick right here. And it turns out if you were to drop down and run across that next little or that lower ledge there, it takes you right to a purple brick. And I only say that because here in a minute, and look at me, I'm looking for it right now. I'm like, which way did it go? Which way did it go? I could see it on the compass, but I wasn't quite sure where it was. And I find, I'm even jumping up. Watch, I jump up and I look down right here. But it's right below me, right now on that ledge. So don't drop on the ledge there. Drop down to the one below where the handhelds took us to. And, and I actually show you where it is in a second. But let's go ahead and pull out the welder and get our heat ray on. That's right. Zzz, zzz, zzz. It's pretty cool. We got it all zapped off. And inside, we've got ourselves a generator pad. So pull out your trusty old generator and drop it like it's hot. And booyaka show. That's right. We uh, knocked the crust off them eyes. Look at that. Had them some of them sleepies. And look, he, he was all zoned out there for a second. He was like, whoa, what's going on? But uh, speaking of hands, it looks like we're going to need to control the crane. Oh, thank you very much. We'll go ahead and add that to our collection. And ooh, we got ourselves a metal beard head spot. So switch over to the metal beard's head and toss it right on top there. I know that at least one viewer wasn't quite sure how to function or how to uh, how to use this, how the old metal beard head functioned. But it turns out uh, it's actually uh, well, this one was a little confusing. You got to roll it uh, clockwise. Your your analog stick has to get uh, spun clockwise. I, I went the wrong way at first, but go and tell it doesn't go no mo, and it should pick up the bricks, and then go the other way. Do the same. Just keep on keeping on until it stops and drops. And there we go. Now we should have safe passage. But before moving on, we're going to drop down and get that poiple brick that's right below us. Well, I guess he's got something to say, too. Anyhow, the bridge should help for your transport. I was pushing the button a little too fast there. I'll have to slow down next time. Uh, let's see. That's what I call some solid construction work, Lucy says. Now, I'm looking, and I can see that thing is right below me on the compass, but I couldn't quite figure out. It was a funny angle. So uh, I dropped down onto the old lift here, which it was suggesting that we do. And then I see it off to the right-hand side. There it goes. And I try to make the jump, but nope, missed it. But we can ride it right back up. And if you get off at the right time, yep, we can go ahead and make our way over there and swoop it up. Da -da -da -da. So now we have 11 of the 16 Poiple bricks. Now we just got to go back. Oh, we got a chest first. We got to go collect. Go ahead and smash and grab everything inside. And look at that. We're stacking up some more of that studage. We're almost to 850,000 
which is uh, getting pretty close to that 1 million mark, which I certainly won't mind getting another one of those trophy achievements behind us so that we can keep on keeping on. And I, you know, hey, it'd be nice to be as rich as Bruce Wayne. Even if it is, is only in a Lego game, I'll take it. That's, uh, that's some pretty big biz right there. Bruce Wayne's got a lot of cheese. All right, we got to uh, keep on keeping on now. We follow the old train. Choo-choo. Here we go. And it looks like there's another crane over there. Oh, that's right. I remember this guy. We got to hop along the handhelds while it does the dirty work. And I noticed that there was a purple brick on the compass on the other side, and it happens to be right up on that upper ledge again. So I tried to jump up there, but it seems like the train was in a little different place. And rather than fight it over and over and over again, uh, well, I, as I jump three times in a row trying to get up there, you're probably going to need or best suited to drop a boinger. That's right. Drop a bouncer. Go ahead and bounce up there and snag it up. And, of course, I like to uh, take these guys out and uh, collect my bricks. Even if it isn't the full amount, it's still worth collecting. And speaking of which, look at that. There's some more over on the other side because we're going to have to build another one to actually get up to the pad where we weld. And I believe this is where I jump up. Oh, no, I go talk to him first. So I knew the arrow was pointing over there. So I tried to skip it on the next one. The third one was the charm. And I thought, ah, I'll just skip this. We don't need to talk to him. But you actually do. It's kind of kind of weird. But I guess it makes sense. Hop up top and pull out that welder. And zzz, 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 go ahead and carve open the door. And reveal up oh, another spot. This time you get a spin to win with the welder. That's right. Big bucks, big bucks. No hummus. And bleh, it pukes out a whole nother group of red bricks. Now I have to admit, the boss battles in this are pretty easy once you figure out what you're supposed to do. But the last couple of bosses, I have kind of struggled with. Now, if we wouldn't have had that uh, footage from Warner Brothers with the first Jeffrey the Giraffe boss, I probably would have been super lost on that one. But because I had watched that footage, I knew how to beat him. Now, the next guy that I had to take out was that giant gecko or the the a lizard or whatever it was that kept changing color and you have to paint those fruits to i struggled trying to figure that out now this boss too the sorting boss it seems like it's pretty easy as we go ahead and grab a chest and a poiple brick around the corner this see look this is like the back door around a secret secret entrance here um but yeah we go ahead and we uh we struggle a little bit with the sorting boss but not too bad and luckily for you guys we got it figured out so we can go ahead and share it with you uh, and really, it's just a matter of flipping some things around and, and making them go in your favor. So again, pretty easy stuff. And ooh, I thought that was the next quest. Turns out that was just a question mark. So it's kind of like a question mark. <laughs> a little different, right? Sorry, more dad jokes. I'll try and, and revert from that. But uh, all right, build a bounce pad and get your boing on to grab this brick up here, which happens to be number 15. And I knew we were getting close to the end because, well, usually the game works in the rule of three. And speak, look, look, I told you. It's not allowing me to weld because I have not talked to our transporter here. That's right. We need to talk to Jason Statham. What you got for us? <laughs> uh, let's see. The transporter says, go back and weld. All right. No problem. We'll jump up there. And let's see here. We'll go ahead and carve it out. Looks like a piece of toast. Almost looks like the state of Oregon, the place where I live. It's kind of like a rough Lego version of it. In fact, that's actually kind of a cool idea to build a Lego Oregon shirt. Interesting. I hadn't thought of that. All right, spin to win, open it up, and bleh, the final puking of bricks comes out. And we've got all the colors needed to go ahead and advance to the next section. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, now that's what we call three sets of cake bricks. This is probably my second least favorite part of Lego is the actual sorting. Has anybody ever actually gone through a large pile and sorted into colors? I don't know if you guys have ever noticed on our Facebook page photo 
One of the main photos is actually Reese digging through a bunch of different bins. And we actually have a ton of Lego colored bins that are all separated and have like, you know, green is in the green bin and red is in the red bin and yellow is in the red, yellow bin. Ha, <laughs> almost said that wrong. But uh, essentially, it's the second worst thing. The first worst thing about Lego is, of course, stepping on a Lego. If you've ever stepped on a Lego, you know, and I don't have to explain much Mo, but it is, <laughs> it's bad news bears. All right, but that is the first. So, so what we got to do here is we got to spin around and get the right color bricks to be slurped up. And in this case, the first one was green. It should be green for you as well. So you should flip the first one and then flip the second one and it should be good to go. And then we get to go on another one of these crazy rides. Now, although I am enjoying these, I do kind of wish or feel like some more creativity could have and should have been used here. Now, I guess maybe creativity isn't the right word because this is super creative, right? I've never seen anything quite like that. Well, and I missed that, so uh, we get to watch it a little bit longer. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just... It's interesting how we have to basically get up on each of these guys and then smash the old uh, whack-a-mole purple. Uh, I, I don't even know what they are. It's some sort of a, a bell of some sort or something. But anyways, we're almost up to the top. Now, there is a very white, boring brick right there. I'm wondering if, uh, if we pulled out our paint wand, if we could do any uh, coloring, if it would help out or do anything. I, I don't believe it will. Uh, but hey, if you know something I don't, please let me know down below in the comments. Now, I thought, too, I was being super, super careful right here. I thought that if I jumped into one of those that it would knock our block off and maybe we'd have to die and respawn or maybe even start at the bottom again. But that's not the case. You saw that. It just, it just took a little bit of damage. And uh, we, we survived. So we can keep on keeping on. Now, for us, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Turned out it was the right one, then the far left one. And next up, it's probably going to be the middle one, as we have not taken that one down yet. And ta -ta -ta -ta, I was correct. Ah, ah, ah. Once you get all three of them down, oh, psych, there's a fourth one. Once you get all four of them down, though, it should take us into a, a, a little moment here. So try not to have a Oh, no. <laughs> next section kind of messed with me a wee bit. So this is where I got a little confused. As you can see here, I ran into the yellow bin and it made mincemeat out of me. It showed us the pink bricks and you can see them kind of glowing off on the hard right side of the screen there, but that is not how you get there. You actually have to work your way back over after flipping the far right guy and eventually, so, so, nope, nope, I had it right the first time, but I didn't know that yet. So you gotta flip the green over to the left. Once you've got the green flipped to the left, you should be able to flip it again. Watch this, here we go. We're gonna hop back over, flap on that. Yep, step on the, nope, step on the switch. All right, I'm trying to figure it out here. I'm like looking around going, oh, uh, okay. So now I'm like, I think I need to flip it again, but I don't, I just need to keep on keeping on, Brian, go, go, go. But don't go right now because you'll get sucked up by the old, I, get, I don't know what that is. It's some sort of a, it's a tube. <laughs> We're running into that again. Anyways, uh, I am still confused. I wasn't sure what to do. I, I, I know what I need to do now, but obviously in this gameplay here. So I, I left this in rather than editing it out because I wanted you guys to know that I struggled a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and flip this around before I really figure out I need to flip it one more time. Yeah, one more time. And we can go to the other side. There we go. Now we're making some ground here. We can go ahead and jump over there and jump onto the left green switch now, which should switch the green one more time. Now we can hop across those hippa to the hoppas. Uh, well, maybe if we, get, if we get the timing right here. Oh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it got us. It got us. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump onto the far left one, and da, 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 da. now we get the orange to where it needs to be. He slurps those up, and oh, nope, I was wrong. It's the next one over. We got one more switch to flip. Here we go. Get behind the wall and flip it, and then things get pretty squirrely. In fact, he starts spraying praying is what we like to call it, at least in, in any of our online shooters. We always call anybody who's got bad aim, spray and pray. And that's kind of what this guy's doing here, quite literally. He doesn't know where we are, and he's just spraying. But we see we've got a little bit of cover here. So we're going to have to jump from one spot of cover to the next, trying to avoid getting inked. And I got a little ahead of myself here in a second, and I get doused with some of that ink. Oh, oh let me check this out. So now we have to actually be smart. Whoopsie. We have to use the button to switch some 
of these bins around again. And look at that. And that's because there wasn't cover. So make sure you flip it around so you got some cover. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, I wasn't sure if I was going to make that one. Spin this guy around. And that should give us the cover needed in order to get to the pink and final spot. Which, uh, wait, wait for it. Wait. Yes, we've made it. He's going to go ahead and slam it down. And now we can jump up on top. And we got to go for the final blow. That's right, we gotta finish him. So follow the old hippa to the hoppas all the way to the back there. And once we get back there, guess what? It's another game of whack-a-mole. Pretty simple stuff though. It uh, pops out on the right side for us first. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha, gone. All right, and then on the left, cha-cha. Nope, psych, it's in the middle. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Then on the right again, oh, psych, it fooled us both. I <laughs> fooled you. And there we go, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Third one, and last but not least, Middle again. Da, 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 da. Booyaka shall. distraction out of the way it seemed like the end was finally in sight we just had to transport the remaining pieces to the stairgate portal I, I love that they call it the stairgate portal I don't, I don't know if any of you sci-fi nerds out there have seen the stargate movie but I, I very much enjoyed that when I was younger it's a little cringy now special effects don't quite hold up over the years uh, but still a great movie and worth seeing. And, and I feel like that's definitely kind of a, a reference, even though there's lots of stargates and things in science fiction. Uh, that's probably one of the most notable stargate references. All right, 16 bricks. Look at that. We're juggling, juggling, juggling. We got 16 plus one extra. That's kind of my bad. I wasn't sure how many we needed when I got... I didn't want to have to go back and find them all. So we got what we needed, and we are out of here. So... Uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and take a selfie. I figured we needed some sort of a, an original thumbnail. So, uh, you may have noticed this. Oh, let me get it right. Oh, spin to win, baby. Spin to win. Let's get some stuff in the frame here. And, oh, it's a beautiful. We'll go ahead and snap a picture. There we go. And we are out of here. Looks like he's got a little bit of a sunburn issue there. I'm not sure why the lighting was all wonka do there, but it certainly was. Now, before we can get out of here, we have to go ahead and talk to our transporter one last time. And that should give us the clearance to get on out of here. So go ahead and hop into the portal. Woo to the hoo. And check it out. We've got ourselves Benny, character token, and the welder, as well as all 16 plus one of those people bricks. So we will be back to complete the other, what, 66%? If I can math correctly, but a new planet has been unlocked, so we will check that out shortly. Special thanks to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. If you have not already, please check us out on social media as well as happythumbsgaming.com. As for me, that's gonna do it. I got another level to get out to you guys, so as always, until next time, see you!